So let me get this straight. I'm sitting here in the stands in Southfield, Michigan on this beautiful day at Southfield Lathrop High School, looking up to the skies and knowing that the Detroit Dark Angels are coming down to play some hard-nosed football. I'm your host, DJ Cole Red, and today's game is a blackout game against the Pittsburgh Passion. This team is known to have one of the top offenses in the league, and they're going against the Detroit Dark Angels, who has one of the top defenses in the league. Today's game is going to be a sure shootout. So stick around, because you're kicking it with Code Red. It's game time. There tends to be a misconception um, with football, football coaches that our only desire is to win at all costs. Um, I think sometimes people think that we don't take how our players are doing, what, what they're going through. And being the head coach of the Detroit Dark Angels, that's impossible for me to do. Uh, one of the biggest things that my team faces is we're all grown. We're all working adults. Um, as I give this interview today, I have two of my players on the field as their children are on the sideline. One is actually in a baby stroller. And so when you have the type of team that you have mothers, you have daughters, you have people who work midnights, people who work in the morning, um, our team is blessed to have several Canadian players who come across the border to Metro Detroit to play for us. We have another group that comes from Kalamazoo. One of our players uh, just graduated from Central Michigan University. She come down from uh, Mount Pleasant to join us. So that is something I highly respect with our team and it makes us better. Gotta motivate. Yeah. I miss some people. Hey, Nicole. Nicole, come here for a minute. But I have a really deep coaching philosophy that I want all of our teammates to be aware of. I demand a lot of effort. I want you to give 100% effort as you take the field. I want you to be a great teammate. In essence, treat people the way you want to be treated. Help your teammate. Be a good person. And lastly, desire to be a champion. Want to win a championship. And a lot of times I'll talk to my team and say, am I talking football or am I talking your life? Am I talking about you giving maximum effort during the course of your day? Am I talking about how you treat people every day in your family or your coworkers or anybody? And of course you want to be successful. Whether it's yourself, your kids, be a champion. And so not only am I teaching them the game of football, I want to feel like that I'm being a positive influence on their life, okay? Do I yell? Yes. Do I chew my players out to make mistakes? Of course. You got to do your job when you're on the football field. But when you make a good play, you do something to help your teammate. You will be praised. Um, you'll have a teammate make a touchdown. Everybody's cheering, yay. But no one noticed that one player made that one key important block. And I try to focus on those little things. So um, it is a tremendous honor to be the head coach of this team. It is a tremendous honor to be a teammate of these women and my coaching staff. And it's, it's amazing how we've all come together. We have a great co-ownership together. Um, and we believe in each other. We believe, and, and I think that has made for an incredible environment to be coaching and playing in, and I hope we can add some more people to this great environment and we can become champions in 2019. Uh, <laughs> I got to motivate. Okay, come on. Okay, no more, Coach. We're good. Am I giving you too much? All right. Talk about my hair and my pretty face and how I like to keep it nice and healthy. My Shout out to my O-line for keeping my face cute every game. They don't ever let me get hit in that backfield. <laughs> they give me all the time in the world. That O-line, my big girls, I love my big girls. The big and sexy. I can't do it without them. I am nothing without my O-line. This season has been uh, one of the most uh, exciting seasons that I have had in my six years of playing women's football. Um, we just knew from the beginning it was truly going to be something special. Uh, we've been proving that week after week, game after game. We, we bring out 30 plus girls to practice. In the six years I've played, we don't, we don't really carry those kinds of numbers. And I mean, we're here on, on a beautiful Wednesday and it's gorgeous outside. There's no better day 
uh, to be out here and, and we're putting in the work, putting in the effort and this is truly, we're just, it's, it's just, it's, it's a milestone. We're just part of something special and I, I enjoy coming here every single day and uh, I enjoy the girls and the camaraderie and the, and the family feeling that we get and so it's just truly been something different and uh, it just, it really shows. It shows in our record, it shows in our work ethic, it shows when we take the field and if you have not been to a game yet, you need to come and watch us play. I'm telling you, it will, it will blow your mind. It will change every perception you have about women's football. It all happens right here. Stay tuned for some more exciting Detroit Dark Angels football. We hope to see you at the next game and you can watch us bring home a championship here in Detroit. Let's get it again. <laughs> You already know yeah. what happening. Is. <laughs> uh, it's DJ Cole Red <laughs> yeah. coming at you with another one. Yeah. I got Riz bands yeah. in the building. Lucky nah. yeah, they lucky We've been working nah. hard now. Riz, you ready? <laughs> she got some heat for y'all. Uh, so I'm gonna step yeah, back. Lucky nah. Let her go ahead and do her thing. It's on you now. Uh. They lucky now. Nah. Yeah, they lucky. And we're back. I'm DJ Cole Red, and I'm standing next to superstar running back and wide receiver for the Detroit Dark Angels, Tatiana Blaze. Tatiana, I have one question for you. What are the keys to winning today's game? Uh, I would say just making sure that we execute and that we play together and that we make sure that we uplift each other when we're on the field, whether uh, there's a bad play, we just make sure that we are playing as one. That is very, very important. Uh, that's just making sure that everyone on specials, defense to offense is doing their job. You know, from the O-line, making sure that they block uh, on pass protection, making sure that they open up those holes for the runs, um, making sure that everyone is just taking off from jump. Like, we really have to jump on this team, you know, from get-go. Defense, you know, they have to make sure they protect the pass. Uh, that is what this team is known for. Um, and the corners, make sure that they're honing in on their receivers. Uh, and special teams, just making sure that they run down and wrap up. That's very, very important. And I'm excited to see what everyone is getting ready to bring to the table because everyone's excited. Yes, that is awesome. It's a blackout game. Any special preparations that you've done to uh, make sure that you're ready for today's game? Um, I would say definitely muscle recovery. I, I try to make sure that I'm 100% healthy uh, before going into a football game. That's definitely checking with the chiropractor to the uh, team uh, athletic trainer and making sure that I do everything I can to make sure that I'm 100% in the game, especially with the way that the, how the weather is today. It's pretty hot, so yeah. got to make sure people stay hydrated. Yes. Now, um, any uh, special thank you, shout outs that you want to uh, give to anybody? Yes. Okay. The city of Detroit has been so, so uh, supportive this week, you know. Um, we've had a lot of publicity from, you know, Fox 2 to the Detroit News 
So even you coming out uh, to make sure that you get a couple uh, scenes with us and things like that. And it's just been really exciting, the journey that has come into this week. And for it being the Blackout game, it's going to be exciting to see if everyone shows up. Actually, and they're all black, just like we got our new black uniforms and just join in. Yeah, well, you know, I'm in black right now. It may not be a uniform. I, I'd like a jersey. You know, I'd like a jersey. I'll let them know. I'll let them know. I'll make sure I'll let them know. Okay, thank you. One. Well, that's it for now. Highlights are coming up next. Lego. Yeah, I can see the days getting brighter. My love getting lighter. My smile's getting wider. It means one thing, it means I'm happy. Oh, it means I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. So travel with me into ecstasy And see how fun it'll be Travel with me into ecstasy Let's see how fun it'll be and be happy Oh, we can be happy Yeah, yeah I know it's hard out there But it's okay Hear what I say There'll be brighter days So be happy You need to be happy yeah, yeah. What's up, world? You tuned in to K-O-D-E Red Radio. That's right, Cold Red Radio. And my phone been ringing off the hook for this new track by Nikazi. It's called High yeah. Stuff. Coming straight to your ears. Let's go. The finest thing that you ever seen With a nice head and a pair of jeans A smile that glows just like a sunbeam Looking fresh out of dream or a movie scene Nature, baby, my evergreen Said you need a little help trying to blow off steam Well, baby, I don't want to be obscene But I love to be your sex machine Cause you're hot stuff Gotta give it to me, baby I don't want to make it, take it Hot stuff all my vision's getting hazy, I can only see you naked Hot stuff Now you better quit your play and get you, get you, gotta chase you Hot stuff Hit it, then I quit it, yeah, I play it like a ukulele da 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 Get you, get you, cool, baby, don't come back How you find peace up in this death trap? Got my release, now I'm falling back my role, I'm a classic act How you fall in love, darling, can't you see? It was all a game and your love was free Don't be questioning what this could be I got your love like A, B, C Hot stuff Gotta give it to me, baby I don't wanna make it, take it Hot stuff All my vision's getting hazy I can only see you naked Hot stuff Now you better quit your play and get you, get you, gotta chase you Hot stuff Hit it, then I quit it, yeah, I play it like a ukulele A, B, C, one, two, three You've been so much fun to me A, B, C, one, two, three Your love was so easy A, B, C, one, three, two Baby, I don't fall in love with you A, B, C, one, two, three But you fell in love with me Hot stuff Gotta give it to me, baby I don't wanna make it, take it Hot stuff my vision's getting hazy, I can only see you naked Hot stuff 
Now you better quit your play and get your, get your college shit Hot stuff Hit it, then I quit it, yeah, I play it like a ukulele Never give up, never give up, never give up, never give up, no Stand up, raise up, let the crowd know there's only one way, one way, one way to win uh -huh. Let's go, oh, 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 uh -huh. we all stop uh -huh. I'm known as the greatest, yeah, I'm kinda famous And I'm off the hated, that's because I'm A-list I be killing these lame teams cause I gotta eat You can call me X-Men, I'm known as a beast Track me, now the fans getting loud. I made you a highlight, now I'm pointing in the crowd. I like to dance, so watch me do the bounds. I'm in the winner's circle, I go all out. Uh, they call me the greatest. Uh, they call me the greatest. Uh huh, they call me the greatest. Look, I'm known as the greatest. Uh. Never give up, never give up, never give up, never give up. No, stand up, raise up, let the crowd. No, there's only one way, one way, one way to win. Let's go, oh, oh, oh. we unstoppable. Pull back, kick the damn in out. That's all we got to do now. That's what we stand at. Y'all got it? Lock down. That's all we do. Can't defeat a winner, you can only count me in. You can't beat a winner, victory until the end. When I say I'm champion, I really mean it. I won the war, check the board. I know you've seen it, I'm first, so I'm better. I'm next up, you lesser. Better get my best, check my stats, you can match up. When the crowd yells, all I hear is super spirit. Only hit with great, my game is scoring on the target. The crowd gets loud, yeah, we do this. Better believe I only leave my greatest achievements. When the crowd goes wild, I know you fear it. I stay on defense, replay your weakness. I know you about to miss, I know you about to leave I know you need a second to quit, I mean to breathe Went to the game, left the game changer Went from a player to a clear and present danger I'm living legend, since the beginning I'm all in and I feel I'm always winning Guess that's why all of my haters Call me the greatest Point, 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 point When I point to the crowd, get loud When I point to the crowd, go wild The Detroit Dark Angels going to halftime, trailing by only four points. As you enter the locker room, these gladiators are trying to regain their focus. Because they understand it's not what happens when you get knocked down. It's what happens when you get back up. They understand that tough times don't last. <laughs> tough people do. I was always tough. <laughs> How do you know you have courage? If you've never been put in a situation to use your courage. How do you know you can fight? You fought your whole life to reach your goal. Was it really a fight? These women risked their life for the love of them.
season is not over. You win some, you lose some, but you live. You live to fight another day. Detroit Dark Angels went on to lose against the Pittsburgh Passion. But the season ain't over yet. You know, I hate losing. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But what you know I really love more than hating losing is effort out of my team. And you fought your asses off. You had them. You had them. You had them. And like Coach said, we let it slip away. Okay? Okay. We'll give you the first round. We'll give you the regular season, okay? Because here's what you need to do. You need to refocus. You need to refocus. We got two tough road games, okay? We got to play two, two teams who want to get a piece of our ass. Well, guess what? They ain't going to get it because you're going to be ready. You win them two games. You're going to finish 7-1, be the number two seed, and get a first-round playoff game at home. You got to get on a bus and go to Pittsburgh and beat that ass, okay? So I need you to keep your heads up and figure out where we made our mistakes. You had them. Fourth down and 20. Ah, uh, 20 to 16. We get a stop there. Ah, uh, a wide open touchdown pass. Ah, yo, that close. Okay? I want, like Coach said, got to let it sink in. We got to get better. We got to work hard. Got a player tell me, Coach, man, we got to tackle more during practice. I agree. Okay? We got to tackle more. I can't go tackling drill, Coach. My lung, my knee, my head, my back. We got to toughen up. All right, so moving forward, Monday, Memorial Day, take the time to relax. It's a holiday. Be with your friends, be with your family. Think about this loss, okay? But I tell you, on Wednesday, you got to be fully padded, fully ready to go because we got to get on the bus and take care of Cleveland, okay? So look, keep your heads up. Do not tank. We tanked a little bit on the sideline. It's 20 to 16. We had them on the ropes. Stay together. Stay up. You battle. What you got, Bryce? Angels, come out and play. Uh. They lucky now, yeah, they lucky now. Yeah. 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 They lucky now, yeah, they lucky now. Yeah, they lucky now, yeah, they lucky now. 